Hello, guys. I'm Sensei Jonathan, and today I'm going to do a little video on some troubleshooting for Ikkyo, uh, detailing some common problems that people might face. Uh, I'm going to do a little video on some troubleshooting for Ikkyo, detailing some common problems that people might face. I'm going to do a little video on some troubleshooting for Ikkyo, detailing some common problems that people might face. I'm going to do a little video on some troubleshooting for Ikkyo, detailing some common problems that people might face. I'm going to do a little video on some troubleshooting for Ikkyo, detailing some common problems that people might face. I'm going to do a little video on some troubleshooting for Ikkyo, detailing some common problems that people might face. I'm going to do a little video on some troubleshooting for Ikkyo, detailing some common problems that people might face. I'm going to do a little video on some troubleshooting for Ikkyo, detailing some common problems that people might face. I'm going to do a little video on some troubleshooting for Ikkyo, detailing some common problems that people might face. I'm going to do a little video on some troubleshooting for Ikkyo, detailing some so when I switch my foot, I'm in still in range of his other hand for punching. So I don't have a proper distance. So I need to make sure that I step back. And a lot of times you need to draw the front foot back as well. So make sure you're out of range of his other hand. Okay? Second point. So you can bring that down. A lot of people try to come from above and push down. So this is in violation of the Aikido principle, keep weight underside. So what you want to do is come from underneath and roll his elbow with your hip. So Ikkyo is not about your arms. It's about this motion with your hip. Open and close the hip. Okay? Third problem. People are trying to close the hip, but they're pushing it into his back foot where it's strong. So I want to move his arm out from in front of him like a tripod. So I'm going to put his hand out where his third leg of his stool would be. So don't push in, roll the hip out. A lot of people also hold the arm out away from their body. This is very difficult to maintain stability. He can raise up very easily because my arms are out away from my body. So as I roll him down, I want to bring it up under my center, connect it. Now he can have much harder time standing up because he just puts energy up through my unbendable arm and back down into the ground. Last, on the upward part, sometimes people step in a little too early. This makes your leg vulnerable to being grabbed and lifted. Maybe even if I'm controlling this arm, you can still get it with that other hand. So as you're taking your control, slide. So it's much harder for him to grab either of my legs in this position. Okay, now let's talk about the pin. Let's bring it back here. Roll him down. I'm stepping into pin. A lot of people will leave that shoulder kind of here, and this gives a lot of slack in his arm tendons. So you want to have a nice high angle, and a lot of times they'll tap out even without any finger pressure when your angle is high. Second problem with pinning is people keep their elbows in, and they just try to squeeze like this. So these are your internal rotators of your shoulder, your arm bone. They're relatively weak compared to your shoulders here. So I put my elbows in alignment and squeeze the fingers together. The last point is about controlling his hand. And it's throughout the technique. You want to make sure that you have control of his thumb. You never want your thumb to be in a place where he can grab it and twist it and hurt it. So always keeping his thumb in control when you're doing your EQ. Okay. So, some troubleshooting pointers for Katadori Ikkyo. Onegashimasu.